Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review video topic 8.11, which is on sewage treatment. So for sewage treatment, there are certain best practices that you need to know. Now this is typically going to show up on your AP exam as a diagram of some sort. So please make sure you know these steps and we're going to go through them right now, but make sure you know them because they can either be in multiple choice with several questions asking you which treatment is which, or um, it could be in a free response where they ask you to discuss the you know, solutions or the problems with each uh, step and so on. So we begin here with primary treatment. Uh, first comes preliminary treatment where you end up catching all the solid waste on a bar screen of some sort. That's the large stuff. Then the primary treatment ends up um, using these screens and starting sedimentation. So things begin to settle and uh, you start to let some of the solid waste that did get through the big screen fall down. Okay. Then in secondary treatment, that's where you're going to have bacteria actually break things down. So the bacteria is going to uh, start to break things down and, and have this inorganic sludge and carbon dioxide. And then you see there's pipes down here. That sludge is going to have to recollect at the bottom, right? So that's something that's going to have to be dealt with later. And the tank is aerated so that the bacteria can break down material pretty quick. Then in tertiary treatment, you're going to have these ecological or chemical processes to try to remove any other chemical pollutants that are in the water. So um, that's going to be things like uh, PCBs, uh, hormones, stuff like that. Anything we can try to get out of the water in advance, this is going to be allowed to. Um, and so that's going to be tertiary treatment. And then the full process, here's what it looks like. Finally, at the end of all this, you may have an extra step um, where you end up also having uh, chlorine or ozone or UV uh, give it one last chance to kill any bacteria and stuff like that. Now remember, this is not drinking water. This sewage water gets treated this way and then put back in the ecosystem to be in the ecosystem for a while before it's taken out again for drinking or other resources. So don't think that just as soon as it gets cleaned, it goes back into our water system. So make sure that's a, a cleared up misconception. So here's some other resources to try to help you with that, and uh, hopefully this is helpful as well. Thank you.